all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel guys today we have a houston rockets video for you now i kind of want to go through the top four picks and just give some final opinions on them i've got my top four in order and I i'm absolutely loving it so any of the top four picks for the houston rockets i would be absolutely thrilled with to be specific, the top three would entice me the most, but guys, before we get into this video, hit that like button, hit that sub button. I really appreciate it, man. I'm recording this video in my car, and there is just absolutely no, there's just no Wi-Fi, there's no cellular, like, there's just absolutely nothing out here in the, uh, in the woods of Virginia, so... You know, we're, we're trying it out here in the car <laughs> and uh, we're going to go, we're going to see how it goes. But guys, if you have seen any mock draft, it basically starts off with Cade Cunningham. Now, Cade Cunningham should just be straightforward. He is also my unanimous number one vote. This guy is a generational talent. He is 6'8", he is 220, he can shoot the three, he shot 40% from three, he can defend, he's very long. And another great thing about Cade Cunningham is he is just a phenomenal passer. This guy is an absolute phenomenal passer. I mean, he has been compared to, I actually really like this comparison a lot, Jason Tatum. I think that's a great comparison. Now, Cade's biggest question mark, oops, my mirror just broke. Cade's biggest question mark going into this season was, can he shoot off the dribble? Is he that good of a shooter? Is he going to be able to shoot at this next level? And well, he answered that question pretty easily. I mean, 40%, he can catch and shoot. He can play pretty much one through three. The versatility on this guy is, it's, there's nothing like it. This is a guy who can come onto your team and change the way your franchise, like it just speeds up your franchise. All 30 NBA teams could use Cade Cunningham, and I bet every team in the draft lottery is praying that just somehow, some way, they can get that first pick and get Cade Cunningham. Now, moving on, I want to say my second... <sighs> this was really tough, guys. This was really tough. It's either Evan Mobley or Jalen Green. Now... <laughs> This was really tough. I'm going to go with Evan Mobley for a couple of reasons here. Like, man, th this was really just so tough. I don't, first off, before I talk about Evan Mobley, I don't like the unicorn comparisons. Unicorns are rare. And Evan Mobley, while he is seven feet and runs good for a big man, I mean, he is not a unicorn. And I'll use an example of Anthony Davis. When Anthony Davis was in college... He played basketball like he was a shooting guard. Like he ran around the court. He had the speed, the acceleration, the ball hand. Like this dude was literally a shooting guard in a power forward's body. And that to me is more of a unicorn than Evan Mobley, the guy who shot, <laughs> the guy who went one game without taking a field goal. He went a whole NCAA game without taking one field goal. I mean, that's not a unicorn to me. Kristaps isn't a unicorn to me. Like, these are just normal-ass guys. Anthony Davis, on the other hand, I think you got a real unicorn over there. With that being said, I just kind of roasted Evan Mobley. I would still pick him. I mean, he is a defensive rim protector. He can get any board he wants. With the proper coaching, I don't see why Evan Mobley can't be a 15-10 and 10 player. Honestly, low-key right away. Like, right away, I, I don't see a reason. At seven feet tall, paired up with Christian Wood, I absolutely love the pairing. I do not want Christian Wood to be the five, and it's for a whole plethora of reasons. First off, I, you know, I don't know. I know Christian's main position is power forward. And also, I mean, I don't want him getting bullied in the paint every single game. I'm already worried about Christian Wood's health moving forward. Like, can he stay healthy? There's a fucking cicada. Bro. Get out of here. Oh, my God. All right. Well, the cicada's gone. I mean, I, Virginia, man. <laughs> With Evan Mobley and Christian Wood paired up, Evan Mobley can take the beatings. Now, this past season, you had Kelly Olynyk take most of the beatings at the five spot. You had P.J. Tucker take most of the beatings at the five spot. Christian Wood, I'm really severely worried about this dude's health. Can he stay healthy? Because I have no idea. I have no idea. So, 
Evan Mobley is a big risk because offensively his game hasn't really come around quite yet. Not like Jalen Green. Now let's talk about Jalen Green because honestly, Jalen Green and Evan Mobley, I, I'm honestly almost 50-50 and it changes most weeks. Like to this week, I'm thinking Mobley. Last week, I was thinking Green. Jalen Green, I would not be... I would not be shocked if he was the best player out of this draft. I would be very surprised. I, you know what? I don't think he will be Cade Cunningham, so I actually won't go that far. But I wouldn't be surprised if he's the second best player by a long shot. I mean, this is a guy who was on a G League team. He was on Ignite. He has basketball experience. He's playing against real NBA players. And I think moving forward, that's going to help him just so much. So... Let's talk about, I mean, I think Jalen Green, the reason I, I'm swaying away from Jalen Green a little bit is mainly because he just doesn't really fit the roster that well. And I, I think that's mainly because I love KPJ as a shooting guard. I think KPJ is a perfect shooting guard. And he'll be able to take the ball up court. You'll be able to pass it to him and he can figure it out on his own. He can play make, he can shot create. KPJ can do so many different things that I liked him as a point guard, but moving forward, I mean, unless he can really nip these turnovers in the bud, I just don't see that being his full-time position. I, I think he's a much better shooting guard, actually, more efficient shooting guard. Just needs the proper point guard, just needs the proper players around him. With Jalen Green, it's just tough because he's a guard and you could throw him at small for it. You know, he's fully capable of going there. But just defensively, if you have John Wall, KPJ, and Jalen Green, you're very small. And then you've got Christian Wood and Kelly Olynyk. I mean, that defense, that's got to be the worst defensive team in the NBA next season if that's what they were to run with. So I love Jalen Green, and I would not be surprised just based off of where he's going in most mock drafts, whether it's Detroit, Orlando, or OKC, I guarantee you this guy will put up at least 18 points per game in the regular season. At least 18 points per game. So I, I really think Jalen Green is the truth. Just fit-wise, he doesn't fit that well. And I know you are supposed to draft talent over fit, so that's why I'm I'm completely flipped. I don't know who I don't know who I like more. I like them both for their own reasons. Now, Jalen Suggs is going to be my fifth. I'm just not a huge Jalen Suggs guy. He isn't that like it difference maker for me. You know, obviously they'll they'll talk about this every single time they can in the draft. He was the you know varsity quarterback in high school, and you can tell he's got that leadership on the court. But I'm not scared when he is on the court. Uh, you know, he reminds me. He, I feel like he's just like a better Jalen Brunson and. To me, that's not a superstar moving forward. I'm sure Jalen Suggs is going to have a great NBA career. And I don't, I, you know, I would not be upset if the Rockets fell to four, if they picked him at two or three, you know, maybe I would have some opinions, but I wouldn't be upset. I would have, I would welcome Jalen a hundred percent. I I would absolutely love that. So, you know, I don't want to, I don't want it to say that I'm knocking any of these guys. This is just my current top four. And honestly, I don't even really like Jonathan Kaminga. I'd put him at six. I'd go Davion Mitchell at, at five all day, every single day of the week. So guys, if you want more of these videos, let me know. Um, I, you know, Cade, Mobley, Green, Suggs. That's what I'm thinking right now.